Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this Wednesday morning. Let's have a call to worship from God's Word today from Psalm chapter 19. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Let's begin with a prayer from Thomas Aquinas. Give me, O Lord, a steadfast heart, which no unworthy thought can drag down, an unconquered heart, which no tribulation can wear out, an upright heart, which no unworthy purpose can tempt aside. Bestow upon me understanding to know you, diligence to seek you, wisdom to find you, and faithfulness that may finally embrace you. Amen and amen. Join me at this time and let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen and amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Our first reading today comes from the, the book of the Psalms. We're reading Psalm chapter 27 to Psalm chapter 29, if you would like to follow along. We begin with Psalm 27 of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. One thing I have asked of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me, and I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Hear me, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. You have said, seek my face. My heart says to you, your face, Lord, do I seek. Turn not your servant away in anger, O you who have been my help. Cast me not off, forsake me not, O God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me in. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Give me not up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me. They breathe out violence. I believe that I should look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalm 28 of David. To you, O Lord, I call, my rock, be not deaf to me, lest if you be silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cry to you for help, when I lift up my hands toward your most holy sanctuary. Do not drag me off with the wicked, with the workers of evil who speak peace with their neighbors while evil is in their hearts. Give to them according to their work and according to the evil of their deeds. 
Give to them according to the work of their hands. Render them their due reward. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord or the work of his hands, he will tear them down and build them up no more. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my pleas for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exalts, and with my song I give thanks to him. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. O oh, save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Psalm 29, a psalm of David. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon to skip like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people May the Lord bless his people with peace. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let's pray together the prayer of our Lord. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading today comes from the Gospel of Mark, the 13th chapter, as we're reading together through this Gospel of our Lord. And Jesus came out of the temple, and as he came out, one of his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what wonderful stones and what wonderful buildings. And Jesus said to him, Do you see these great buildings? There will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. And as he sat on the Mile of Olives opposite the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will these things be accomplished? And Jesus began to say to them, See that no one leads you astray. Many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and they will lead many astray. And when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. This must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines, but these are the beginnings of the birth pains. Be on your guard. They will deliver you over to councils, and you will be beaten in synagogues. And you will stand before governors and before kings for my sake, to bear witness before them. And the gospel must be first proclaimed to all nations. And when they bring you to trial and deliver you over, do not be anxious beforehand what you are to say. But say whatever is given you in that hour, for it is not you who speaks, but the Holy Spirit. And brother will deliver brother over to death, and the father his child, and the children will rise against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. But when you see the abomination of desol desolation standing where he ought not to be, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let the one who is on the housetop not go down, nor enter in his house to take anything out. 
and let the one who is in the field not turn back to take his cloak. And alas for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days. Pray that it may not happen in winter, for in those days there will be such tribulation as had not been from the beginning of the creation that God created unto now and never will be. And if the Lord had not cut short the days, no human being would be saved. But for the sake of the elect whom he chose, he shortened the days. And then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, the Messiah, or look, there he is, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform signs and wonders to lead astray, if possible, the elect. But be on guard, I have told you all these things beforehand. But in those days after the tribulation, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will be falling from heaven, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branches become tender and put out its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also when you see these things take place, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But concerning that day or that hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard. Keep awake. For you do not know what the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey. When he leaves home and he puts his servants in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to stay awake, Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or when the rooster crows, or in the morning, lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. And what I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, as I crest, cross the threshold of this day, I commit myself, soul, body, affairs, friends, to thy care. Watch over, keep, guide, direct, sanctify, bless me. Incline my heart to thy ways. Mold me wholly into the image of Jesus, as a potter forms the clay. May my lips be a well-tuned harp to sound thy praise. Let no evil this day soil my thought, words, or hands. May I speak each word as my last word and walk each step as my final one. If my life should end today, let this be my best day. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray together. Oh God, we thank you for a new day and that your mercies are new this morning. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are so clear and telling us to watch and to stay awake. So I pray even today that we would watch, we would look for your coming, that we would watch this world and the things that are happening around us and remember that you are sovereign God, that nothing takes you by chance. Lord, that nothing surprises you. Father, that you are omniscient over all things. You are omnipotent. Your knowledge and your power are infinite. And Lord, we are simply finite. So rather than trying to simply pay attention to the signs, may we watch for you. May we watch for you in our words today. May our words be words that honor and praise you, that are kind words to one another. May we watch in our minds. May we watch what we look at, what we scroll, what we put inside of us. May we watch with our ears, meaning being careful what we listen to, O Lord. May we stay awake with our ears and only hear things that are pleasing to you in your voice. May we watch with our hands and our feet where we go and what we do today, Lord. Help us to stay awake, to be on guard and recognize that you are in control of all things. What we do matters for eternity. So may we not take lightly the great privilege and blessing of being your children. 
May we live for you this day. Please be with the tired one today. Grant them rest. Maybe a literal nap like Elijah. Or maybe, oh God, just spiritual rest today in your word. Father, I pray that um, we would be encouraged if we're downcast, if our souls are low. Please, Lord, help us to be lifted up by your word. And I pray, God, you'd help us to love you and love our neighbors. Whatever that would mean for us today as we walk the path of this new day on Wednesday, may we do it for your glory and yours alone. Bless this day. Keep it and direct it, O oh God. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. As we close out today, uh, just a quick thought. I kind of just do these spur of the moment, so I never know what I'm going to say. But um, when I was reading the Psalms, one of the Psalms really stood out to me just in terms of application. It says in Psalm 28, verse 3, Do not drag me off with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, who speak peace with their neighbors while evil is in their hearts. We call that hypocrisy. When we say one thing with our mouth and we're thinking another thing in our heart, they speak peace with their neighbor while evil's in their heart. I encourage you today to fight that temptation. Fight that battle. Be a person of truth and honesty. So guard your heart. Stay awake, as Jesus said. And remember that the Lord Jesus Christ is here to help you when your mind is weak. When you are starting to, to drift into a hypocritical words, not matching a heart, look to him. He is the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And he washes us clean. Pray those prayers of confession. Be merciful to me, O Lord. Lord, save me. And let's have a day that honors God on this Wednesday. So bless you all. Praying for you. Um, if there's anything special I can pray for you for, you can go on the, our website, lovepensacola.org slash needprayer. Or you can just send me a message. Send me a text. would love to know. Know that you are loved. God loves you and he cares about you. Don't forget that truth. Um, cast your cares on him because he cares for you. Have a great day. Amen and amen.